camera scripts for Doctor Who give us valuable insight into how these episodes were produced. They also give us valuable insight into dialogue and action that was cut sometimes before or after recording. Let's take a quick look at some dialogue that didn't make the final version of episode 4 of The Myth Makers, Horse of Destruction. From scene 6, Inside Prime's Palace. The scene as broadcast ends with Paris, Prime and Cassandra moving towards the balcony to take a closer look at the wooden horse. In the script, the dialogue continued as follows. Troyus enters. I can't find Cressida anywhere. Cassandra replies, She's probably trying to get to Diomede, the other Greek spy. Paris retorts, He's not a spy, he's my prisoner of war. Troyus doesn't believe it. Priam then remarks, probably very wearily, Cassandra, I do wish you wouldn't stir up Troyus like that. Never was a father so graced with such quarrelsome children. The broadcast episode resumes at this point in the main square of Troy. The next two bits of cut dialogue come from the start and end of scene 8. Once again, we are in Priam's palace. Cassandra enters and speaks to Katerina. What do you mean you can't find her? Katerina replies, I have searched everywhere. You can't have. Priam enters with Paris. Priam remarks, Apart from its size, I can't really see much to recommend it as a horse. Paris responds indignantly, But father... We mustn't look a gift from the gods in the mouth. Cassandra chips in. If it's from the gods, I've had no sign that they were going to appear in this form. Paris replies, For the past ten years you've been invoking them, and when they do appear and defeat the Greeks for us, you forecast disaster. Prime remarks, Cassandra has a point, though. If this were from the gods, then I feel they ought to have used better craftsmanship. If it weren't, Paris says, then why were the Greeks seen to sail away? Let's now move to the end of scene 8, with just Vicky and Katerina alone in Prime's palace. After Vicky's line, oh no, let it not happen, Katerina then asks her, did you want something? Oh no, thank you. Katerina and Vicky look out at the horse. Have you seen the horse? The High Priestess Cassandra believes it will bring about Troy's downfall. Vicky pulls herself together. I'm sure it won't. How did you become one of Cassandra's handmaidens? Through the auguries, it was foretold that I should be, and it has been foretold that I shall not. Vicky asks, what do you mean? Katerina replies, matter-of-factly, I am going to die. To die? But how can you tell? Are you ill? No, but I shall die. The signs have been given. Vicky asks, signs? My own pet dove flew backwards to his nest, then beat his wing thrice and died. When we examined him, he had no liver. So, I shall die. The scene then fades to black. While there are other minor dialogue changes between the camera script and the final product, there is one more line of dialogue that I'd like to share. After Vicky leaves the TARDIS for the final time, after she's left, the Doctor comes out slowly after her, looking out. So young. So very, very young. If you'd like to find out more about the Mythmakers, then I highly recommend my appearance on Joe Ford's A Hamster with a Blunt Pen Knife podcast, where we provide commentaries on all four episodes. There's a link in the notes below.